So, hey, hey, what, where is everybody? What? Ah, they're over there! Brrr, and he goes like crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, lads, wait for me! Good afternoon, Simon Reed from Read the Card here in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, giving you a solo playthrough this afternoon of Flam Rouge, and this is the Flam Rouge Peloton expansion, which introduces a five to six player expansion, but also the AI teams. So I'll be playing with two teams this afternoon: a Peloton team in red and a Muscle team in black and myself, uh, the green team, which matches my rather silly beret. And so we'll be doing that this afternoon. I played this game last night for the first time, just to get a hang of the rules, and the AI didn't come first. I managed to just scrape a win. So I'm hoping to get a much better win this afternoon and that these guys don't take me down. We shall see how it unfolds. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we go. For those of you who haven't seen Flam Rouge before, it's a very, very simple card game. Basically, you have two riders in your team. You have a Relais, which I will say with a silly accent for the entire game, and a Sprinter. And you have two uh, decks of cards, one for each uh, team member. And basically, you pull four cards each turn, look at your cards, choose a card, and that's how many places forward your rider will go. Unfortunately, once you've played a card, it's then out of your deck. So you don't want to use all your big ones to start off with, otherwise you're going to be stuck with just little cards at the end. So you have to play these cards judiciously throughout the game. We have the course here in front of us. We have a bit of a dip here, um, highlighted in blue. And when the riders get to there, they get a minimum movement of four spaces. So even if you play a low-powered card, a two or a three, you'll still move four. These red areas, there's one here, and there's one over the end there, they uh, represent hills. You have to slow down, you can only move a maximum of five spaces, anything to do with the hill. And then once you crest the hill, there's a nice downhill, we get a minimum of five points, which is rather nice. So you whiz up, as you go down the hill, you, you put your feet out in front of you, take your feet off the pedals, you get the air to blow up your shorts, you cool yourself down, and you whiz down the hills. There's also a cobblestone area where the road narrows right down. You get a bit of a bottleneck and a constriction, and the teams bunch up a little bit trying to get their way through here, and then round through to the finish. Right, so the way this works is me, um, Simon, <laughs> I get to go first um, as the green player. I will pick my two cards. Then the uh, Peloton player goes. He just has a single deck of cards. He just turns them over, and whatever he gets, that's what he gets. There's a couple of cards in here called attack cards, and they just move them slightly differently, which I'll get to uh, when we turn one over. And then the black team, the mushered team, they just turn their cards over and move accordingly. So the AI is very simple. They just get in my way. Um, and, but they also help with a thing called slip streaming, which you'll see as, as we get into it. Right, let's get started. The turn order of play is always the player in front, next to, you'll see there's a double line around the board. Whichever one is next to the double line goes first. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four cards. I see what I've got. And fairly high, you can see what the, the range is over here. I'm going to move my guy six. Normally what you do, when you're playing against a, a human player, you'd put that upside down. So. The, uh, your opponents can't see how far you're moving, and you put your unused cards underneath your deck. My sprinter, represented strangely enough by a big S. And also, whenever I play this game, I always let people know whose game it is for the simple reason all the cards are marked SR, which is my name, Simon Reed. So everybody knows exactly whose game it is, so nobody can take it home with them, because it's my game, SR. Okay, mm, not too much to choose from the sprinter, so let's take one of those, and off we go. Right, so each player would choose their cards, put them down, and then you're ready to play. So my roller is on the inside, if you like to call it. 
he goes six spaces. Very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. My sprinter goes next, goes five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. If you're in a single, uh, call it file, they always slide over to the side, whoever gets there. So if somebody else moves up to that spot, my sprinter will go first. So that's my team have gone. The red team, they just get a card and both of their riders will go five. Starting with the inside dude, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now the, the musher team, the sprinter goes first, he's on the inside. He will go five, one, two, three, four, five. So he can go up to there. And the roller goes four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Peloton team have moved into the lead. And I'm quite pleased about that because they are in the lead. They are breaking, I was gonna say breaking wind, but that doesn't sound very nice. So they are they're breaking the, the air barrier first <laughs> because Whoever's in the lead has to take exhaustion cards, these red cards um, with the two value. They get shuffled into your deck. And of course, they slow you down later in the game because you're getting a little bit tired, you're getting exhausted. These guys are the, are the, the windbreak. They're pushing forwards. So they're shielding us behind. So I'm quite pleased that they're in front. These two cards are, are out of the game. I then pick up my rollers going first. So I'll pick the roller first. One, two, three, four. And again, I don't really want to use these big cards. I think I see we've got we've got this little downhill coming, a downhill coming up. Hmm, that doesn't sound too good either, does it? We have a, a downhill approaching. That sounds better. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when I get into there, I can play one of my low value cards, but still move four. So I think I'm only going to play a six card at this stage, just to get me into that uh, that that blue area. Try not to totally destroy the board at the same time. One, two, three, four. Huh. Three, four, five, and a nine. Do I want to bring my sprinter up into the front at this stage? He will then start taking exhaustion unless the... I'm going to risk that. Okay, there's a bit of, bit of risk and push your luck in this game to a certain degree. My sprinter has three of these nine cards in the deck. So I've still got two more for maybe using at the end to, to push ahead. So I'll do it now and get him up, up into this area ahead of the pack. Maybe the wrong thing, but let's, let's risk it and see. Rouleur goes first. There's that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see the road actually widens to, to three wide here. So if you're playing with uh, four, five, six players, you can bunch up and get through and the road is not quite so narrow. So the road keeps widening and narrowing, which, which helps to, to, to help your movement. Sprinter next. Nine. Okay, you can always go through riders. You can't land on a rider. If there's no space for you, you then move back until there is space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that's actually quite handy. Uh, totally unplanned by me. If I was a better player, I probably wouldn't have been. But now you see these guys are one space apart. And they all get a thing called slipstream, assuming they're still there. This guy will slipstream up to there. So he'll gain um, another row, as it were, uh, free of charge if these guys don't get in the way. Let's see what happens. Red team pops up next, Peloton. They are moving six. Move the rotor first. One, two, three, four, five, six. No slip streaming, because they're in the way. This guy goes six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll go there. Okay, black team. They will slide over now. Sprinter first. Another five, one, two, three, four, five, and the roller seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A sprinter has gone into the lead. He now gets an exhaustion card. One of these not so nice cards goes into my deck. And there we go. 
that goes to the, that will shuffle through and start jamming up my deck and getting in the way. Peloton team and the Monsieur team never take exhaustion cards. They just turn their cards over and, and play through. And these decks are, are cunningly constructed that there are enough movement points in a deck of cards to get you through the entire uh, circuit without having to worry about um, uh, the, these, uh, what do you call it, exhaustion cards. Right, next turn, next round, next phase, whatever you want to call it. And I take my card. So I always choose the guy who's at the front first. You can't look at that card and look at those cards and try and work out what you want to do. See, okay, I'll move this. You have to do one and then the other. One, two, three, four. Let's see what my sprinter's going to do. Okay. I'm in this play a card and get four minimum. So I'm gonna play one of these little twos, get rid of it, but get myself four points or four movements. So I'll put that one there. And the same with my ruler. One, two, three, four. Again, I'm hoping to get a low card. Yep, I'll play my three and that'll give me a four. And these guys will do what they want. Sprinter first, he's in the lead. Two, ha ha! Just because this is a bit of a downhill, a bit of a dip, represented by the blue, he gets four movement points. One, two, three, four. He's now hit the bottom of the hill. One of the restrictions with the hill is that you can only play a maximum of five movement points, anything to do with the hill. So if I'd been back here and I played a nine, I'd have stopped there, because I'm only allowed to play maximum of, of, of five. Okay, roller, three, gets adjusted to four. One, two, three, four. Okay, possible slip streaming. There's no slip streaming if you even have a gap on a hill. He's not on a hill, he could slip stream up depending on where these guys go. Let's see where these red fellas end up. One, two, three, four. And they're like, one, two, three, four. They're like just kind of sticking together with me at this stage. This guy moves over. Roller first. Five. One, two, three, four, five. He can't do five. One, two, three, four, five. He drops back one. And the sprinter at the back here. Four. One, two, three, four. Right at the back. So at this stage of the race, my guy's in the lead, taking exhaustion which will show themselves shortly. These guys are sitting nicely behind me, roller, maybe, maybe make a break for it shortly. These guys aren't doing much at all at this stage. You don't actually have to just use these guys in a solo game. I played last night with my son and we did a four player game. He had a team, I had a team, and we had two, these two AI teams. So we had four teams on the board and the two of us were playing as well. So you can play with the AI in a multiplayer game. As I said, the expansion takes it up to six players. You can even take it up to 12 players with each player having one deck of cars and controlling one rider. I should think that might be a little bit lengthy, having 12 people sitting around the table each playing. Could take forever, but it could be done. Right. Pick my cards. Sprints are up. One, two, three. Now you see uh, my four cards. I now get to these turned up cards. I now have to shuffle this deck and put them back underneath. And so you shuffle your cards. So your cards come up in different order. So you don't quite know what's coming up next. So I got one, two, three, four. And here we go. Right, I'm on a hill. I'm limited to a maximum of five points. Also, when I get into this blue area on the downhill, I get a minimum of five points. So hopefully I get a little. So I'm only going to use a four, I think, to get me into the blue area. And then I'll get a five next turn, hopefully with a low card. And I'll keep the five for a little bit later. So I'm going to use my four. Of course, I wouldn't be doing all this reasoning out loud if I was with uh, human players. Oh, look at that. Surprise, surprise, we've got to shuffle these ones as well. 
quick pile shuffle there, which hopefully you all know is the best way to shuffle cards, especially cards that have a tendency to, to clump together. One, two, three, four. And, okay. Again, I'm coming into a hill, so I don't want to use my seven, because I'm going to be limited to five. One, two, three. I'm going to use the four, I think, and try and get as far as I can up the hill. Let's pop that down like that. And play them. Sprinter in the lead. Four. One, two, three, four. Rulea. Four. One, two, three, four. He's on a hill. There'll be no slip streaming if he's on a hill. So even if these guys hang back, he's not going to move forwards. A little bit annoying, but that's hills for you. Red team. Ah, this is one of those attack cards that I was talking about. The front rider moves two and the back rider moves nine. Except in this case, he won't move nine because he's limited by the hill. He'll be limited to five. Anyway, the first rider, which is the rider, gets two, one, two. The second rider, the sprinter, will be limited to five because he's got the hill uh, penalty. One, two, three, four, five. So he's up there. And there's one other attack card in here. So all of a sudden, one guy just like whizzes around the board like crazy. Right, Mr. Roller. Six. Limited to five, because he hits the hill. One, two, three, four, five. And the sprinter, also five, limited to five. One, two, three, four, five. So there we go. So the positions have changed a little bit. You can see uh, the rollers moved dropped back. These guys have moved up a little bit, putting a little bit of pressure on. I'm still at the front. You may have noticed that um, uh, birds migrating, they fly in that V formation, and that guy right at the very front, he's the one who's actually breaking the air for the other guys on the on the V behind him. And they all slipstream, and after a while he drops back and somebody else takes over the front, because that's the, the hardest place, breaking through that wind barrier at the front. And that's what these guys are doing, they're breaking through the wind barrier, which allows the other guys to slipstream up, although we haven't seen any slipstreaming yet. But he's breaking the, 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 the air, the wind pressure, whatever you want to call it, and so he gets exhaustion. Okay, right. And it's very much a, a rinse and repeat type of game. We now take four cards. One, two, three, four. Obviously, when you're playing with a human player, there's more interaction. These guys are moving around and shuffling for places. Um, and it's quite fun. Ah, look, here comes my first exhaustion card. I've got, I've got two twos, a three and a four. Not a very good hand, except I'm in the downhill area. As I said, legs out, wind blowing up me shorts. Oh, that's lovely. So I'm going to get rid of this exhaustion card. And because it's only a two... Um, I'm used to playing with others, so you put it that way down. But I'll get the that. This guy's on the hill still, still limited to five. One, two, three, four cards. That's a little bit annoying. Hope they get some low cards. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I can't play the seven, so I've got the four or the five. I'm going to play the five. Just push him ahead a little bit. Okay, sprinter first. There's the two, which translates to a five. One, two, three, four, five. Screaming around the corner there, down the hill. Whoa, what fun. Okay, and the uh, the roller. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, totally unplanned. I'm not planning my turn, but I've got that gap there. I might get a slipstream, depending on where, where these lads end up. Good stuff. Red team. Seven. Whoa, putting the pressure on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. And this guy at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slots into there. Okay. Now what will happen is this whole bunch will slip stream up onto him. Roller. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Sprinter, five. Okay, so the uh, the Monsieur team has a standard deck of cards, plus
plus one extra card. And this is the extra card. Uh, um, the sprinter has this muscle card, which is an extra card of, of five movement points. So that's the only difference in the, 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 the black team, the muscle team's deck. They have one extra card with five points on it. One, two, three, four, five back there. Okay, so this whole lot, we're gonna see our first slipstream, slipstream round like that. So I'll just creep up a little bit. Okay, sprinter. My sprinter is my lead guy. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Another one of those dreaded exhaustions coming through. Now, if you've got a really good memory, you can actually card count and work out how many nine, well, I know I've got two nines left, how many threes has he played? What's the average? So you can actually work out your, your odds of, of various cards coming up. I never play like that. So which one of these, or this guy, so we've got these cobblestones creeping up. Uh, I think I'm gonna move him, his max move this turn. My roller at the back, one, two, three, four. Ah, five, 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 five. The other guy I remember is moving five. Mm. If I move him five, we'll be in exactly the same place. Okay, let's move him five as well and see what's happening. Okay. The sprinter moves first. Five spots. One, two, three, four, five. And Rolleur moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, give myself the opportunity, maybe, of doing that slip streaming, depending on where these lads um, end up. Okay, let's do the, the red team. Three. One, two, three. Slots in there, doesn't slip stream. One, two, three. Okay, black team. Rilla is in the lead, so he moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, these guys can come in, and then they, because it's a single lane, they often block where you want to go. He'll end up there, and you're stuck behind him. Yeah, I, I had that problem last night. I, uh, I got myself caught behind some of these guys. Two, one, two. Okay, this is the sprinter, okay, represented by the S, and you can see he's quite quite far back, so maybe he shouldn't be uh, an S, maybe he should be S for snail, maybe an escargot instead, because he doesn't seem to be doing very well at this stage. Right, where are we? My sprinter, get the cards. One, two, got to shuffle the deck. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Let's see what we've got there. And I always like shuffling like that as well. There we go. One, two, three, four. Sprinter. A three, a two, a two, and a nine. I know I've got another nine coming up. I think I'm gonna use my nine this turn. Let's really push that sprinter ahead. Unfortunately, it means I probably will pick up more uh, exhaustion for him. I think moving him through is going to be a, a good thing. I have to shuffle the cards over here for this guy. Right, one, two, three, four. Let's see what we've got. Two sevens, a six, and a three. I'm going to push him max ability this turn. Okay, sprinter in the lead, he goes first, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice, this guy is going seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I might actually block some of these guys from getting past me and keep them back. That's quite good, because I've actually, these represent cobblestones, by the way. So <laughs> Watch your false teeth when you're doing this part of the race. Let's put up. Hopefully, with him there, he's blocked some of these guys getting past. If this guy gets a big card, he's uh, hopefully he can't land there. Hopefully, I'm going to block him. Let's see. Red team, seven. 
one, two, three, four, five. But what I forgot is you can cycle through these guys, five, six, seven. So he actually overtakes me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Really? Five, one, two, three, four, five. He can't land there. There's only one space wide, so he has to fall back. If that was only a one space wide, he'd have to fall back again. We kept him back. That's that's okay. Happy with that. And this uh, <laughs> escargot carries on in the same vein at this stage. One, two. <laughs> okay, we do know he's got some big cards that can come up. You know, there's a couple of sevens. Oh, dear, he's the sprinter. He's got, um, okay, his biggest card is a nine. So there's a couple of nines, a couple of fives. So he could catch up a bit, but at the moment, not a very impressive muscle team at all. This guy, yeah, okay. But the, the red team, doing quite nicely. My sprinter way out in front, which is nearly twit move, because he's got to get an exhaustion card. Let's see what he does, okay. Four cards, one, two, three, four. There's one of those things. Here we are coming up to one of these little downhills. So these these low cards will be quite good for that. So I think I'll keep the four at this stage. Try and keep my lead. And the relay. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I think I'm also going to one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm going to take him through the cobbles and get him onto the open road again. Okay, sprinter first with the four. One, two, three, four. The roller seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you slide to the double line. Okay, red team. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Black team. Rele. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't go seven, it's a single. He drops back one. And this guy. Oh, I think I'll pick up the pace maybe just a little bit. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, now if, if this was a uh, another human player, this guy would just be picking up exhaustion cards the whole time as well. A, he's not moving very fast, so he's really not putting much effort into it, and he'd be getting exhaustion cards. Which means make your deck thicker, full of these number twos. This is really what you don't want. Sprinter gets another one of these. They're going to cause a little bit of havoc in my life sooner or later. Coming up to this nice little dip in the road here, minimum of four. Not quite there yet, so I'm looking for a low card and then a low card. Hopefully, get a low card here. One, two, three, four for the sprinter. What have we got? A low card. Yes, I've got a two. I'm going to use that two to get me into this area. One, two. So next turn, hopefully, low card, but it'll be four. And whiz through there. Ruler. One, whoops. So yes, what am I doing? I'm going to shuffle these. Sudden brain freeze there. Must be cold wind blowing in my face. Right, one, two, three, four. The roller. Uh, one, two, three. The roller hasn't had very much in the way of, um, uh, what do you call it? Exhaustions, I don't think I've had one yet. So I'm actually gonna push him one ahead of my sprinter to actually protect my sprinter from getting another exhaustion card. So I'll pop that four down like that. And then we'll worry about these guys. Okay, there's that little two. One, two, no, done there already, haven't I? Mm -hmm. Did that out of turn. Mm -hmm. Right, so there we go, should have waited. Apologies for that. And then there's the four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Red team, four, one, two, three, four. And the other guy gets four, one, two, three, four. Slides, black, Rilla, three, one, two, three. And 
<laughs> Tail end Charlie. Three. <laughs> I, don't, I think he's racing all by himself. He's like in his own world over here. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Singing Elvis songs to himself now, all shook up uh -huh, as he goes over the cobbles. Yeah. Not quite sure what he's thinking. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Okay, Rona, he gets his first exhaustion card added to the deck. Rona in the lead, so I'll pick his card first. One, two, three, got to shuffle the deck. One, two, three, four. Really difficult to shuffle four cards, isn't it? Ah, there's a nice low card, which I'll use to, in, my, in the four zone. So let's use that. Now this guy obviously has to shuffle his cards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One on the end for the fun of it. One, two, three, four. And what are we going to do with the sprinter? <laughs> I told you these cards were going to come through and cause chaos. Look at that. Three exhaustion twos and one of his own twos. I have a choice here. Which one shall I choose? Shall I choose the two, the two, the two, or the two? I think I'm going to go for the two. Let's use an exhaustion two. And two for you two as well. Okay, so that's the bishop card, two, two. Sorry, bad jokes. Right. And look, another two, but goes to four. One, two, three, four. This one, surprisingly enough, ha, look at that, another two. Also four, one, two, three, four. Not bad, they're sticking together, coming nicely. These guys are falling back a little bit. They've still got one of those attack cards where one guy can move nine and maybe push ahead. A six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not too worried about that because he's in front of me. Takes the uh, takes the uh, the break away, so he uh, he doesn't get exhaustion. So I'm quite pleased about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it goes to there. Black ruler. Oh, only three. One, two, three. Same kind of tactic as I was using. Use a low card to get into this downhill area. Maybe next turn he'll pull a low card and whiz forward a bit. And this guy. Oh, so, hey, hey, where is everybody? Ah, oh, they're over there. And he goes like crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, lads, wait for me. Still miles behind. This guy is two spaces away from the pack. He doesn't slipstream, otherwise he would slipstream up. Okay, so this guy's slightly in the lead. There's a couple of big cards still left in here, so they could just pick me at the post. And we've got this bit of a windy windy, got a very small hill right at the end here, which limits what cards you can play. So even if you're hanging on to a big card, you're limited to a fiver only with this hill. So that's a bit of a, the other thing that kind of worries me a little bit, you've got this hill here, and you've got all the crowd sitting here behind this hill, they can't actually see the road and what's going on. I can't imagine why they'd want to sit down there. They can obviously see this part of the track quite nicely, but they can't see over the hill. Weird. Anyway, be that as it may. Roulette. One, two, three. Shuffle up these three cards. One, two, three, four. Aha. Uh -huh. Do I push ahead? I think I am going to push ahead, use one of the big cards at this stage, keep these threes and fours back, so maybe just to get over this hill right at the end. I will use the, uh, I will use the, oh, let's go for the big one, let's go for the seven. And let's see what my sprinter can do. One, two, three, four. Seven, 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 seven. Hmm, I've only got one nine left. This is my last nine. Do I use that or do I only use the four? Wait for it to come through the deck again, but then might be over here, not get the full value of the nine. I think I'm gonna play the nine now. One advantage of having cycled this route last night. Okay, right, Rudder. Pushing forward with the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Splinter, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He could pick up exhaustion at this stage, depending if one of these guys come up or not. Four. No, they're lagging. They're flagging. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Black Roulette. Six. Put on a bit of a spurt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Black Sprinter. Nah. <laughs> that was a fun little nine, but yeah, I don't really want to overdo it, you know, really. One, two, three. And there's this nice dip here. I can just cruise through this dip slowly with a bit of luck. Okay, fine. But there's a gap of one here and a gap of one there. So these guys slipstream up. And then these guys, this whole pack slipstreams up. So the, 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 the AI is just behind me. I'm in the lead, but I'm taking exhaustion. Going to be a little little bit tight towards the end, I think, yeah? Okay, Sprinter. One, two, three. Shuffle the cards. I don't know how many cards... So I don't card count, so I don't know if this guy's got any big cards coming. So it could be quite fun to try and get him up and then get this guy to slipstream up a little bit and then you play a bigger card next turn. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. A bit of kind of forward planning here. What have I got here? Three, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm going to use a three. Then it gets you closer to here. Maybe a small car next to And then that five, I can then use the five to get over this hill. Because you're limited to five on the hill. Okay, roller. One, two. Ah, I've got a six, a four, and a three. So I've got a six coming up. Shuffle those. One, two, three, four. There's a five, 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 five. I picked a three for this guy. So I'm going to pick a five for this guy. I actually would have liked it the other way around, but never mind. But then, okay, fine, let's do that. Let's pick a five for him. Might be able to get some slip streaming in. Sprinter does three. One, two, three. Roller does five. One, two, three, four, five. No, twitch. I should have played the sixth. Needed the six to get that extra space. Twit. I think I had a six there as well, didn't I? I did. I should have played the sixth. I've gone there and I could have slipstreamed up. Ah. Huh. Mental arithmetic is needed as well at times. That was not quite so clever. Six would have been the better. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, at least I don't get exhaustion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Black Roller takes a leaf out of his mate's book and he must three. One, two, three. So they're black team, this muscle team, not very muscular at all. Four. And a four translates to four, so he didn't play small enough. One, two, three, four. Ha. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five round to there. And then you start getting limited because it says hill to five. So I don't want any cards bigger than five, really, for the roller or six for the sprinter. One, two, three, four. Anything bigger than six, I think bigger than six, I might as well use max four. Get him up as far as possible. Roller, I said five, didn't I? We've got three cards there. Shuffle them up. Makes those, you don't have to shuffle at this stage. Just, oops. Cut that when I fiddle faff around for the card. <laughs> I just fell off my bike. <laughs> Okay, six. I said six. Six will take me into the zone, which means I'm only going to play a four next turn. That's all I've got left. So let's take a six to get me into, into that hill. Okay, Roller is in the lead. Roller goes first. There's the one, two, three, four, five. No, it's the wrong card. It's the wrong card, Gromit. I thought that... One, two, three, four, five, limited to five. 
Bong. So that's it. So it doesn't go any further. Okay, it's all not bad. I'll play my four next turn and it'll get me over the finish line. Not quite what I wanted. Four. One, two, three, four. Bit of slip streaming here could happen. Red team. Three. One, two, three. No slip streaming. One, two, three. Black team, I don't think we really have to worry about this muscle team. Seven, oh, catching up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't think they're contenders in any way, shape or form. This guy, I don't know why, but oh, he's still in the, uh, in the four zone, but he played a four, so he doesn't get any advantages. One, two, three, four. He's obviously just had a really nice, pleasant afternoon cycle ride through the French countryside. You know, obviously, well, look, there's sheep crossing the road here, so maybe he's had to slow down a bit. He doesn't want to run the sheep over. Last turn to see where we end up. So probably we're all going to cross the finish line, and then we'll see where we are. Right. I only have three cards. I will pick the four. I won't bother to turn it over. Splinter, one, two. I'm going to shuffle this little lot up. I'll just do that for this turn. I think there's lots of exhaustions in here. Anyway, one, two, three, four. What a high card. Ha, a high card, yeah. A high three. <laughs> Let's do that one. This is the end of the game as such. Right, Rene goes four. One, two, three, four. So he crosses the finish line. The crowds go wild. Yay. The sprinter, one, two, three. Doesn't quite cross the finish line, but you can see it. Okay, the red team, oof, a six. But anything to do with the hill, limited to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. And Rilla, four. One, two, three, four. And this guy comes over here. <laughs> <laughs> he's been amazing. <laughs> amazing. What cards has he got left? He's got his two nines right at the back. So the last two cards are his two nines. <laughs> I mean, if he played these earlier, he'd be up here. <laughs> okay, fine. Didn't happen. Anyway, the race is over. If some of us have crossed the finish line, I and the red team, the uh, peloton team, have crossed the line. These two lads, just about there. They'll obviously sail over now in the, in the next turn. How do you decide the winner between me and, and this dude? Um, I'm going to vote judge in favor of me, <laughs> strangely enough, because I'm on the inside track. Therefore, I go first. Therefore, I have the advantage. Therefore, I must be the winner. It's as simple as that. Yay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed watching this playthrough. Me, again, just squeaking a victory over the AI. I find this game a lot of fun. Um, I've played it uh, two-player, so with my son last night, two-player with the two AI teams. I've played it six-player uh, with two AI teams. A lot of fun, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And we will see you anon.